So we've got some ideas going on here with parallel and perpendicular lines. Can I draw you a picture? Okay, back in the day when we were talking about slope. Mm, slope, yeah. I gave you two lines, mm, this one and this one. I asked you, which one of those lines would have more slope? You returned to me, the one that's more slopey. <laughs> right, hang on, slopey, slopey, hang on. We were talking about the, identifi the identification and Classification? Um, what category? Uh, positive or negative slope? Zero slope? Do you remember this one? Well, I need to extend onto that. You told me that this one had a greater slope than that one. All right, I'm there with you. What do you notice about these two lines? This black line and this blue line. Black and blue. This one's painful. Which one of those has greater slope? Neither one, huh? They're the same. Now, take a look at this. Go a little bit further. These lines are never going to intersect. Two lines that are never going to intersect are parallel. And parallel lines have the same slope. Okay, further. Can I draw you another picture? Yeah. I'm going to go black and blue again. There's that black line. And here's this blue line. And I'm going to say that those two meet at a 90 degree angle. Alright, these lines are what is known as perpendicular. Now I'm here to tell you, from left to right, that's how we look at these things. The blue one is going down, and it has a negative slope. The black one is going up, it has a positive slope. So I know that the signs are going to be negative, and it just so happens that if a slope is perpendicular to another slope, it's the number that when multiplied by the number that product is minus one. What? I know. It's a little bit abstract and kind of wor wordy. So what you're going to remember is perpendicular lines have negative reciprocal slopes. Perpendicular lines have negative reciprocal slopes. Moreover, if this is M1 and this is M2, or L1, L2, then M1 is going to equal minus 1 over M2, a little less abstract. If M1 one is one half, then m two is equal to. Now, what's the reciprocal of one half? The reciprocal is the number that we multiply it by the number. The product is one. Yeah, I want another reciprocal. Flip it, dog. Yeah, um, that's two over one minus two over one because we're talking about perpendicular slopes, or minus two. That's it.